Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Queen 11. Um, today, we're going to be doing a first impression slash unboxing of the Animal Guys to Roll by Radley Valentine. This is a Hay House deck. This is a tarot deck, seven, eight cards. Um, I got this out of my Card Deck Club subscription box from Hay House. It is a quarterly subscription. I'll try to leave the link below if you're interested in it. I've had each um, subscription except the very first one. I got all of them. So I have a few of these decks. Um, if you're interested in that video um, of me talking about all the other decks that came in the box, go ahead and check that out. Um, if you are new here, uh, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you guys again to share something it's been a long time i've been on a strong hiatus when it comes to my channel all right inside of the box guys it says may you find wisdom comfort and joy on your journey with your animal guides i did not tell you how much this cost it's the us 29.99 canada 39.99 first of all let's just give it up for this box because this box is giving all of the morning breakfast do dear view okay all right whatever that means all right but we're going to read with the back it says powerful messages from your angels and your animal guides um tune in to the magical gifts of the animals and receive divine guidance that transforms your life in animal guides to row radley valentine brings you gentle messages from the four-legged finned and feathered creatures of the earth the cards are filled with inspiring symbolic imagery and the guidebook shows you how to give accurate and magical readings discover the powerful messages of tarot in a positive and loving way respectful of your spiritual path of joy all right so yeah let's go ahead and see what this guidebook is looking like we'll get into the cards in just a bit um guidebook typical hay house guidebook it's a pretty little chunker i mean they usually do have them there are no pictures in this whatsoever so you know use your imagination guys um in the front of the book we do have all of radley's other decks and their um his books um and we also have a table of contents here um, how to work with the animal guides tarot, um, about your animal guides tarot. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are shuffle, um, you know, how to work with it. Um, as far as spreads, yeah, there's some spreads here for you. Looks like we do have that Celtic cross spread. It's always in there. And then it tells you the meaning of cards goes into the major arcana, the minor arcana, bada boom, bada bang, bada boom. All right. So guys, let's go ahead and get into what we want to see, which is the meat and potatoes of the video, the card deck. So this is what the back of the cards looks like, guys. It looks just like the front of the card box, minus all the wording. You have the pretty owl there. It is a beautiful um, scenery, I must say. I don't know how I feel about it as being an actual card back. It doesn't look like it could be one, but it is. So I guess it is. I'm getting it is what it is. But this owl is carrying a scroll, okay? This is giving me high priestess vibes, all right? Anywho. Here we go, the front of the cards. The sides, guys, is this cardboard. It's like this really, really thin cardboard. So if you're a card deck, card stock snob, you're gonna be upset a little bit, I feel like, with this, especially knowing that Radley is not new. He, you're not, you're an OG Radley. Hey, how's you guys are OGs? I'm not shuffled it, so I don't know. So I'm not speaking, I'm just seeing for right off, from what I'm seeing right now, if you're a card snob, a card stock snob, you're not gonna be happy, okay? You know, anywho, this is what the cards look like. They do have a number at the top. They have the name of the card, the dreamer, which is the fool. It gives you the picture. It has these thick, juicy borders that Riley loves to work with. And it has um, your the, the keyword and a little bit of uh, more for you down there. Okay, guys, typical Riley deck. But this is, I don't think there's many humans. If any humans are in this deck, this is all animals. I believe and angels so yeah that was um the magician which is the unicorn we have the high priestess which is the owl the empress is the uh angora rabbit okay the emperor the deer mouse we have uh, the hierophant unity polar bear the lovers is flamingos. I love this. This is so pretty, and this is special to me. The chariot is um, 
Arabian horse. I love horses too. Excuse me, guys. Um, we have the justice card here, the elephant. Yeah, that's so great for the, for, um, the justice. We have the hermit here, the firefly. Oh, that's beautiful. What a way. We have uh, the wheel, reindeer, or caribou. caribou. Strength card is uh, the lion and the lamb. The Messiah, lion and lamb. Y'all, these are so cute. Like, if you're new to tarot, I think these will be really good as far as, like, something soft and gentle. Um, the Awakening is the giraffe, which the Awakening is um, the hangman. As you can see, it's upside down. We have Release, um, Death Card. Oh, my gosh, the peacock. Isn't that beautiful? I've been doing videos a, a little bit, um, a lot of videos, so I'm a little tired, a little hot. My voice is a little strained. Balance, zebra, ego, Siamese cat, the devil, which balances tempers, guys. Um, life experience, tower card, cuckoo. <laughs> cuckoo, I ain't never seen a cuckoo in a card deck. Um, the bird, the star. Oreo, Oreo. How do you pronounce that, guys? You, how do you pronounce that bird? It's a pretty bird. We have the moon here with the lynx. I think I saw a lynx, guys, like 10 years ago in the woods. Um, we have the sun here, the bluebird. Probably longer than 10 years ago. I'm sure it's longer than 10 years ago. We have renewal, judgment, raccoon. And we have the world here, which is the uh, Shetland sheepdog, a.k.a. Lassie. Who calls this Lassie? Okay, thumbs up if you call the sheepdog Lassie. All right, we have Ace of Fire for White Tiger. Two of Fire is the Pelican. Three of Fire, Sea Turtle. Four of Fire, Otter. We know Fire Swans, guys, if you didn't know that, all right? Now you know. Five of Fire is the Ram. <laughs> Perfect. Six of Fire is Rescue Dog, a mixed breed. Aw. Uh, seven of Fire is the Gecko. All right, we're taking your assets. Um, eight of fire is the bee. Beautiful. Nine of fire is the gazelle. Ten of fire, Ber uh, St. Bernard dog. Hey, there's Beethoven. <laughs> so cute. Then we have the page of fire, the monarch butterfly. Back up a little bit. We have the uh, knight of fire, the dolphin. I love dolphins. We have the queen of fire which is the Persian cat. Now, I know that this is used in one of, uh, I think Doreen Virtue's decks or something like that. I've, saw th I've seen this picture before. We have the King of Fire, which is the uh, Katanga Lion, all right? A different one. Then we have the Ace of Water here, guys. The Dove. I mean, what other animal would you use? We have the Two of Water, the Love Birds, which waters cups. We have the three of water, the hummingbirds, the four of water, uh, tortoise, beautiful. I love tortoises too. I have a cute story about a tortoise, guys. I have to tell, tell you about it one time, um, another time from now. Five of water, dragonfly, you know I love those. <laughs> you know I love my dragonflies. We have uh, the six of water, uh, the goose. It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. We have the seven of water, this is a Maine Coon Kitten. Oh, why are they the seven of water? It's so cute. Um, eight of water, we have um, the kangaroo. Nine of water, a Pomeranian. Did you guys see the kangaroo? Because I'm, I'm trying to see this too. I'm trying to see, I, and I can't see, so I apologize. Um, 10 of water, we have the prairie dog. Page of water, the deer. Night of water. The frog. That's so freaking cute. <laughs> I love frogs. Queen of water, the swan. Beautiful. And the king of water, the penguin. Ace of air, panda. My husband loves pandas. Uh, two of air is the dash hound dog. Three of air is the um, rose-breasted grosbeak. Rose-breasted Grosbeak? I've never heard that before, guys. Um, four of air, the koala bear. Beautiful. Um, air of swords, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't say it. I said it now. We have five of air, the collie dog. Is that Lassie? Which one is Lassie? 
Um, the Rescue Cat Mixed Breed is the Six of Air. So I'm seeing that the Sixes um, are these um, mixed breeds. It's so cute. Um, seven of Air is the Magpie. Eight of Air is the Bunting. And Nine of Air is the Sea Lion. Interesting. Ten of Air is the Siberian Husky Dog. Page of Air, Seagull. Knight of Air, Thoroughbred Horse. This is in another deck too. This is in, um, what deck is that? This is another deck that he has had. So there, there's, there, there's some pictures that I've seen before. This too, Queen of Air, uh, the Leopard. I've seen this as well. King of Air, Humpback Whale. Ace of Earth. Calico Cat. Earth is um, pentacles or coins. Two of Earth. Um, Abysne, Asbysnian Cat. I don't know how to say that, guys. Um, three of Earth, Miniature Poodle Dog. Guys, I had a Miniature Poodle when I was young. And it got a rat poison and it died. And oh my gosh. And her name was Minnie. She was so cute. She was a little white thing. I was so sad. Um, four of Earth, the Squirrel. Five of Earth, the manatee. Six of Earth, the kiwi. Seven of Earth, cow. Eight of Earth, the parrot. Nine of Earth, <laughs> I hope you can see this, guys. Ragdoll, cat. So rusty. I so apologize. Ten of Earth, golden retriever dog. Page of Earth, Tabby Cat. Knight of Earth, Seahorse. So cute. I love seahorses. Queen of Earth, Belgian Hare. And the King of Earth is the Irish Cobb Horse. Okay, that was a pretty long. Okay, seven, eight cards, so what do you expect? But that is the deck, guys. Um, I have this flip. I was flipping them. Kind of way. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to shuffle them so you can see how well they shuffle and then we're going to pull a card and see what we have here for the message for tomorrow for us today. So let's go ahead and sh side shuffle. So the card stop is allowing it to shuffle pretty easily. So if you have a hard time shuffling big card decks like this, I feel like you won't have, it won't be so bad for you. I do have issues with my wrist at times, so um, I'm one that is always wondering if I'm able to shuffle a deck a certain way or not. Um, usually I do shuffle sideways like that because it's easier on my wrist, but sometimes I do like to go ahead and get this old school um, riffle shuffle like so. So let's get one for you guys. It is definitely riffling. It can umbrella. Let's try one more time. when they get stuck like that. What I feel like I may end up doing is not umbrelling, umbrelling this and allowing this to just bend, bend with an arch in the back so that it can be really easy for me to actually um, shuffle it like this. I just find it easier for me to shuffle it like that. And let me just do this one more time, guys, because it needs it. All right, now let's do this overhand. Let's see. How will it overhand shuffle? So let's do one card for the collective. What message do you have for the collective spirit? So they are sticking together quite a bit, a little bit, but not, not, not too bad. They are clumping, okay? But that's understandable for a new deck. One card. Thank you. Well, that's two cards. We'll just take this one at the top, okay? We have seven of fire here. Ooh, seven of fire, the gecko. It says, be assertive, believe in yourself, and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. So this is the seven of wands, seven of fire. The little gecko. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the guidebook out and I'll try to read this read this for you guys seven of fire um 
they don't have they're not they're not numbered so you're gonna have to either look in the beginning of the book where the contents are or you're gonna have to flip through like i'm doing right now okay so we found seven of fire here right guys so let me show you seven of fire this says gecko stand up for yourself don't stand up for yourself communicate with confidence don't quit claim your personal power now's the time to be assertive don't let anyone take away your personal power or control you believe in yourself trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely of course it is important to choose your battles wisely, but if your heart is telling you the cause is important and just, then stand your ground. The gecko can also indicate an outward challenge that's actually making you aware of an unresolved inward struggle. Ask yourself if the source of discomfort is really with someone else or with something inside you that needs to be healed. Consider good luck in many cultures. Consider good luck in many cultures. Geckos are fascinating creatures. Specialized toe pads allow them to climb vertically, so they needn't let anything stand in their way. Unlike other lizards, they have the ability to chirp in order to socialize and communicate with one another. In keeping with this card's message, they can speak their truth and make their voices heard. Geckos shed their skin regularly, and if need be, they can also lose their tails to evade capture and to evade capture, an indication that sometimes the battle just isn't worth it. Geckos may be asking you if it's time to shed old issues from your life. Now, guys, I am so happy that I actually got this card, Gecko, because um, a couple of years ago, my oldest daughter, she had a pet leopard gecko, and her name was Kita. Okay, her name was her. She went through a fluctuation of names because we didn't know that she was a girl at first. We got her from a, a, either Pet Smart or Petco, one of those. Um, but it's something that she bought with her own money. And we loved Kita. She had the greatest personality. Lizards have personalities. She would get out, she would watch TV with us. She would come and she would cuddle under. She would like, she loved to go between my legs. She would just love to just hang out with us. She got along with our Yorkie, she got along with the children. My my um youngest son, who is um 13, at the time he was about I want to say eight or nine. Um, of course, little boys are very curious. Um, he went to go and try to capture, he went to try to catch Kita, and upon that it scared her, and so her tail fell off. So, what it's talking about in that in that excerpt about you know a, a, a gecko wanting to get out of danger, um, it will release its tail. Um, and, and, and leave its tail behind and grow a new tail. So some of you guys could be called right now to release some things um, just to save yourself. If, it, if you have to release a lamb to save yourself, then that's what it is. You know, some sort of regenerative, um, restorative energy could um, be very well on the other end of that uh, severance. Okay, guys? So, yeah, that is, um, that's the end of this video guys um that's this deck i think that is a pretty decent deck if you love animals um if you love angels i don't see many angels in here so oh no it's just animal guys so it's not an angels it's just animals here um but if you love animals i think that this would be a great deck for you to have again like i said it is cardboardy cardboardy you know but it's it's it'll last Hey House has good card stock, okay, guys? I think that this is too cute. The, like the Prince Charming type of energy here with this frog. Like, this is so quirky. I love it. I think that you guys should go ahead and get it if it's something that you're interested in. Again, like I said, it's $29.99 US, $39.99 Canada. Hey House always has sales going on, so I'm sure you can find it for cheaper than that. I'm not sure if it's available just yet, but it will very well be soon. There, it, it will be available very soon because this came out in the car deck club and they usually um, bring these out like right before the decks are released okay but anyway i feel like i'm rambling i'm gonna go ahead and let you get on about your day um go ahead and check out my other videos i do have a few other deck reviews that um or a first impressions unboxings um so go ahead and check those out again don't check uh, don't forget to check out my other channel deluxe and divine tarot if you're interested in getting a reading or um, general readings and things of that nature all right guys i will talk to you guys in the next video take care don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye